Hey guys, what's up? So today is a very special day and I'm gonna see if you guys can guess why by these three reasons. It's reason one, reason two, and reason three. Coming out day. So this is kind of the day that I look forward to every year, like a little holiday. I don't actually celebrate it or have parties or anything, although it would be fun. But um, yeah, basically it's just the day where um, celebrate basically who you are and um, you know some people choose to come out today other people um, you know I mean but the, in my opinion it doesn't matter what day you come out it's still just as important so don't so if you're someone watching this who hasn't come out yet don't feel like you have to come out today because it's coming out day it's just kind of a day to celebrate you know who you are you don't even have to be gay you could be an ally or just be straight and you know that's who you come out as um, this is my shirt from last year. We didn't have shirts this year. I forgot the reason why. Um, but we don't. So I'm going to, uh, in respect to coming out day, give a very short, very summed up version of my coming out story. And the reason why it's going to be short and very less detailed is because it would probably take a very long time for me to tell it. We don't have that much time. Alright, so basically um, I started questioning in my sophomore year um, like right in, in about the summer, um, I came out as bi during, was it during the summer? I think it was during the beginning of the school year. Then I started dating this guy, and a lot of people who know me now and didn't know me then, they always get really surprised when I tell them that I had a boyfriend. I actually had a couple boyfriends. Um, but I'm like, yeah, I know that it happened. But, um, I started dating this guy, and I won't say his name, um, just for privacy reasons. Um, and then it was just, it was really awkward, and I just didn't like it. Um, so eventually um, I broke up with him and we got back together again later and then broke up again and so um, finally like that's when I started to actually like look deeper I guess in myself and everything and um, then eventually around senior year I, I think no actually it was my junior year junior year I finally fully came out which is full blown day just everything um, and I had a really great support team. Um, there's my friend Tyler who helped me, um, my friend Laura, um, or we were friends at the time. Um, just like a bunch of other people, you know, just a really great support group. Um, I think I was dating someone at the time, yeah. Uh, my girlfriend at the time was really, really supportive. And, oh, and my friend Giselle, I can't forget her. And just a bunch of other people, just a lot of people. So. Uh, don't, so if you're somebody I know who's watching this, don't feel bad if I don't mention you. I didn't, I don't really have time to mention everyone. Um, but, but on all honesty, a lot of my, like, basically almost all of my friends were really supportive during that time period, except for maybe just a few. And, um, the only reason why it was, uh, kind of complicated was because of my mom finding out at basically the wrong points in time. She found out, um, that I was questioning right before I was even sure of myself so when she asked me you know are you gay I was basically like I don't know like no yes maybe you know so um it was really really rocky period um I kind of wish that maybe I hadn't um fully like expressed to her what I was going through um I guess it was kind of like a just a chance for me to open up to her and that wasn't such a turned out not to be such a good idea then this year is when I came out as bi gender around what was it like June, July, sometime around that time period, and uh, so that's basically where I'm at right now. But I'm still, but the whole concept of gender and everything is still up in the air to me. And uh, so that's basically my coming out story in a nutshell. Maybe I'll do a video later on, which is which deals more in depth um, with some other things that happened during that time. So. Now I'm going to switch to another topic, which has kind of has like a bit of a bit of controversy in uh, our little community, and that is dealing with labels. There are some people who choose to just not identify as everything, as anything, and then there are some people that feel like they have to have a label. In my opinion, I think that both are great. Um, in my opinion, it's basically what fits you. If you're somebody who feels like you need to have a label to be sure of who you are, like you have to be gay, you have to be trans, you have to be just uh, something under the umbrella, like, under the huge rainbow umbrella, you know, then, um, that's something that some people need, uh, in fact, most people, 
you know and also just because it's easier to explain let's say you meet someone um at your school's prior gsa and they're like oh what do you identify as there are some people who say oh i just i don't have a label and sometimes it's met with negativity by people who feel like you um you feel like you need to have one but um, i'm getting kind of getting kind of sidetracked so the people who feel like they need to have labels to be sure of themselves and honestly I think I'm one of those people I wish that I wasn't because it makes things really confusing when I'm trying to decide like on a label but overall uh, I think it would be really good to have one or several I guess right now that's basically what I have because then um, it's like you know I, I feel like I would be more confident in who I am um, not that I already I'm not already but just I would add to it and there are other people who feel like they don't need labels that they already know let's say like um, one of my friends is says that she's technically a lesbian, but she doesn't really like to advertise that much because she says that one day she may date a man, one day she may date someone um, who identifies as genderqueer or bigender, and so she doesn't really have a label for her sexuality overall, which I think is really good because I mean that's I mean she's confident in who she is, she knows who she, what she wants in a person. And, um, so when it comes down to labeling with her, she's just like, no thanks, you know, I don't, I don't need a word to fit under, like a category to fit under. So, um, and that's really, that's really, both are, both, um, having a label and not having one are really admirable, you know, depending on what it is that you choose. Um, plus the fact that their label's coming up all the time. There are different gender types, there are different sexual orientations. Um, some of them I've never even heard of until recently, which was really interesting. But, um, yeah, that's basically kind of what I have to say about that. So, happy coming out day, guys. I hope you all have a really good day. And I'm not really sure what my next video will be about. I'm thinking of doing one maybe for allies. I don't know. But, um, we'll see what happens. So, I'll see you guys later. And I hope that everyone has a really good day. And thank you for watching. Alright, bye.